Um, uh, better chance for the upset this week on the NFC side of the bracket. Yeah, because yeah. I just believe the way the Cowboys are set up, they're great running attack. Ezekiel Elliott, what if he has one of those historic days? What if he goes for 150, 175 in the Coliseum? Cowboys fans, they're outweighing the Rams fans. Boys, get it done. I, listen, I, I'm not picking either of these upsets, but if I had to pick one, to me, the obvious answer is the Cowboys because the quarterback the Cowboys is going against, he might play a terrible game. There is no chance Drew Brees, in my mind, plays a terrible game against the Eagles. The, for them to upset the, the, for the Eagles to upset the Saints, Foles is going to have to just go in a duel. The right. Cowboys don't necessarily have to do that, so I say the Cowboys. All right, let's stick with the Cowboys and the Rams. Battle of the backs. This year's rushing yards leader, Ezekiel Elliott, and this year's rushing touchdown leader, and Todd Gurley. So which running back will have a bigger impact? Zeke or Gurley? Nick, take your pick. I'm going to go Todd Gurley because I think he's going to have an impact in the running and in the receiving game. Also, a couple weeks off plus the bye. I think we're going to see the healthiest Todd Gurley that we've seen since early in the year. I say Todd Gurley. Yeah, I just believe Ezekiel Elliott for balance of the show so we can talk about two of the premier players that we have. We should be able to share that. Ezekiel Elliott's ability to build break tackles. His ability to be able to make that big run even though they have seven, eight in the box and the Rams, sometimes they forget. Oh, I'm trying to rush the passer. Right. No, you have to be able to earn the right to rush the passer. Ezekiel Elliott carves up that Rams defense behind that big offensive line. So I'm going with Zeke. All right, let's move on to Phillip Rivers and the Chargers. They're taking on Tom Brady and the Patriots. Phillip Rivers looking to get his first ever Super Bowl while Brady trying to get his ninth Super Bowl. <laughs> Which quarterback needs to have a better performance for their team to advance? Rivers or Brady? See, take your pick. I'm going with Tom Brady. Tom Brady, it becomes critical. When you start talking about, well, who's the best player on the Patriots offense? It's been like, ah, uh, Sony Michelle. Who's been the most consistent this season? Ah, uh, what about, uh, oh, oh, Sony Michelle. So Tom Brady has to be able to balance that attack out. He's got to be able to have a big game. The Chargers are going to put pressure on him. They're going to play man to man on the wide receiver because they don't um, have any fear of him. And Tom's got to be able to make some big time throws. Tom Brady. And the Chargers have more of more diverse ways to win than the Patriots. They can win by their defense force and turnovers. They can win because Melvin Gordon, if he is healthy-ish, having a big game. The Patriots, yes, they need Sony Michelle, but they also need Tom Brady to be playing well because if not, I think that team that never panics would panic a bit. I think what will keep them calm mm. is saying, you know, we've got 12. He's still playing his game. I don't think the Pats have any path to victories that don't involve Tom Brady playing a good football game. So I also say Tom Brady. All right, let's end with the Chiefs hosting Andrew Luck and the Colts. Patrick Mahomes leads the Chiefs with one of the highest scoring offenses in NFL history. But the Colts have the league's top scoring defense since week seven. So who has the edge Saturday, Colts defense or Chiefs offense? CeCe, take your pick. I got to go with the Colts defense. Now, this Chiefs offense is historic, not only by the numbers, but the style for which. All pro tight end, um, all pro slot receiver, out receiver out, outside receiver, Tyreek Hill. They were running the ball at a horrific, uh, horrific, I mean, terrific <laughs> pace. And Patty Mahomes has been real, real special. But the thing that the Colts defense has, they know that their offense is going against that Chiefs defense. <laughs> that Chiefs defense is bad. I'm going to be shocked. And I believe and I'm old Nick. I'm cheering for old Nick. I'm cheering for his Chiefs. I'm not looking for Nick to get his heart crushed. But anytime you have a defense like that, it ends it ends bad. It ends on a Saturday afternoon going against a, a quarterback like Luck. So I'm gonna go with that Chiefs. I mean, with the Colts, Colts defense. defense. All right, I'm gonna go not shockingly with the Chiefs offense, third highest scoring offense in NFL history. Really? However, really? see. If you're going to be right, you know why you're going to be right? Down, bro. Oh, no. You know why you're going to be right? right? Have you seen the weather in Kansas City this weekend? Yeah. Let's show them the snow. That's inches oh, of snow. Goodness. Arrowhead is right beneath the sea right there. That's two goodness to five crazy. inches over the weekend. Anybody out show there need a weatherman, mm -hmm. please. Show, show, send us your, send show me, us, send show us. me the two-day forecast, if you will, so you can get okay, a better idea yeah. of what's coming up. Tomorrow, that's during the game. Snow flurries throughout the day. Game day forecast, if we can, what's please. My your left hometown, leg? Kansas City. Jenna Wolf, don't worry about all that. Don't don't be jealous. I'm standing up doing the weather like you used to in Rochester. Now, now, let me see the game day forecast, if you would. It's going to get progressively better, not bitter cold, but still cold. 
50% chance of snow in the first half, 35 to 25% chance in the second half. If you're going to be right, it's going to be because this snow slows down one of the best offenses in NFL history. I'm hoping for better weather. I think that plays more in the Chiefs' Yeah. Face. Also, you need to work, uh, work on your musicals for you. You can't be playing that type of music right there Listen. doing the weather. Okay, that's, that's above my pay grade, man. Now we're back to our music. There's your weather report, but you're not going to be right, but I just wanted to let you know. Somebody save me. There's a station out there that needs a weather guy, all right? I'm willing to give you my guy, Nick Wright, and I'll Oh, you're I'll operating substitute. a trade? Operating yeah, absolutely. Trade? Not for Al Roker? Yeah, like Betty Ryan told him one time, told the general manager, trade that guy. Guy was all pro running back. Trade him. At least get me a six-pack of beer. Yeah. And it ain't even got to be cold. Oh, okay. That's I see great. how it is. I actually thought he did a pretty good job. Of course I did a good yeah, job. Having someone who spends so uh, much time. He's trying to show off his mom's in the studio and everything.